So the Raiders get a win in primetime on Monday Night Football against the Packers. Welcome in, everybody, to Raiders game day. I'm Amber Theo Harris, along with James Jones. Big smiles. Big smiles. Big smiles. Big smiles. Big smiles. Big smiles. So it was an exciting win for the Raiders. We're going to break it all down for you. 17 to 13. They now improve to two and three. And here's the good news. If you remember last year, there were teams like the Bengals and the Jaguars that started out two and three, on went on to make the playoffs. Come on now. So they put themselves in a better position. And why do you think that is? Well, well, again, complimentary football we saw today. And it wasn't a great performance, but enough that you were able to get the W defensively, played the lights out, outstanding job. And then the running game is starting to get going just a little bit. Bit, but as you see, this football team, when they get it going on defense, mm-hmm. get those turnovers, get a ball back to offense, things Yeah, happen. you know, my future's bright. I'm going to be a coach in this league one day <laughs> because I said, if you get takeaways uh-huh. and win the turnover battle, you usually win the game. <laughs> the defense balled out today. Three takeaways to get it back to your offense. I don't care if they're getting points or not. You got the offense off the field. Takeaway, short fields for your offense. Equal some points. Big time game by the defense. James, you didn't figure that out. The stats are out there. You win huh. 95% of the time if you win the turnover you know, battle. They, they very well known sometimes. So. the NFL. <laughs> hey, here's three big things we're going to cover here on Raiders game day. Max Crosby continues Ooh. to ball out Man. another huge performance for him and the defense will break it down and Amik Uh-oh. Robertson two, one, and came up big, ended the game with the interception in the end zone we're going to talk to him on the show and you know it uh. wouldn't be a Raiders do, 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 celebration do. without too short do, 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 and Marshawn Lynch we will talk all about the party that was at Allegiant Stadium but let's get things started at Allegiant Stadium Jimmy G ready go. for Monday night football and you know Devontae Adams is ready to take on his Packers, his former team, now as a Raider. Raiders opening possession. Uh oh, good start. That's that mayor. Got the, mayor. the young the guy, house. the rookie involved, 20 yards. That's uh, Mayor's second reception of the season. First down, Raiders. Jimmy Garoppolo, Uh-oh. though, sacked right after that. Loss of nine yards. Kenny Clark gets him. Yeah, this says this is a situation that has to be rectified in the next couple weeks. Yeah, we got to get that cleaned up. Forced to punt, and so the Packers have the ball. AJ Dillon rushes to the left for five yards, and watch this. That was a flop. <laughs> he gets the penalty for unnecessary oh, roughness. They get ready for WWE. Look at it. That's good. That's good right there. Look at it. Like, <laughs> the smell with the rock <laughs> is cooking. <laughs> so that ends in a field goal. That is uh, Daniel Carlson's brother, by the way, Andrew Carlson, playing against each That's other. Incredible. Their parents yeah. were in the crowd, 37 yards, and the Packers score first. Here come the Raiders. Trey Tucker on some the speed. end around. Get some speed. Uh. That, that guy does have some speed. First down, bit. two first yes. 15. That's big first down. But there we hey, go right here. Good. This is good right here by Get a, uh, get a feel, young man. Get a feel, Josh young McDaniels man. getting a little creative, just finding other ways to get the balls into your playmakers' hands. Three plays later, it's third and five. And again on third down, goes Jimmy again. Garoppolo is sacked. This time by Preston Smith, a loss of seven yards. Yeah, you got to, again, you got to find a way. You have some success on first down, got to find a way to capitalize on third down. And it's too much penetration up the middle, too. He can't even step up in the pocket. First time the Raiders didn't score in the first quarter all season, by the way. Here we go to the second quarter. Jimmy Garoppolo to Amir Abdullah. Yes. Turns up field, gets 11 yards, and good for a first down. Mm, Three plays later, third and five. Jimmy Garoppolo to Jacoby Myers, who had a big game, 10 yards. They're down to the Green Bay 25, moving the chains. Jacoby can run routes now. Later in the drive, Raiders Uh with a fourth down, and DeAndre Carter. Three yards. This was speed. good by this was good by Josh though, not to settle for field goals early. Look at Josh ball. Jacobs. Look at the block by Man. Josh Jacobs. Sprungy. We're gonna talk to him later in the show as well. Two plays later, second and uh, six, give me that. and Jacoby Myers gets in for the touchdown. Raiders take a 7-3 lead. Yeah. Good job by Jimmy right there, recognizing the safety off at 10 yards, feeding the end zone, get the ball out of your hands fast. And that boy right there, he don't just run around, he's strong. That's the Raiders' first touchdown in the second quarter all season, by the Uh-oh. way. They've struggled. Oh, give me that. Third, oh, but they yeah. didn't struggle oh, there. Yeah. Oh, he put a running back move on and a stiffy. <laughs> I see you. Robert Spillane, the veteran, comes in, returns it 19 yards, gets it down to the Green Bay 7. Watch the, so the eyes. Raiders. Watch the eyes of the linebacker. Oh, good job. Oh, incredible job. Getting the pathway. Takeaways. That's that wouldn't time. be his last big play of that's, the game. Stay tuned for a, a little bit though. later. That's a Raiders time. in the red zone now. Here goes Jimmy Garoppolo. No good to DeAndre Carter. And by the way, uh, Devontae Adams did not see a target on that possession in oh. the red zone. 
We'll talk about that later. Ra that's Raiders. A, that's a penalty. That's, that should that's be a, a penalty. penalty right Settle for a field goal. The Raiders lead 10 3. Here we go in the second half now. Raiders opening possession, second and 13. Not the way they wanted to start. Interception. Oh Rudy Ford comes down with it, returns it for 10 yards. The ball is on the Raiders 37 yard line. Yeah, that's too much mud over there. Too much mud over there. It's a great job by this linebacker undercutting that, but uh, yeah, they got to be somewhere else. Josh McDaniels, you could see him saying, you can't do that. You just can't do that. Ensuing Packers possession, A.J. Dillon, who really got the run game going for this team early in the game. Three yards, fresh set of downs for the Packers. That's the second yeah, that's week a, in a row now. We've had some issues. That's a big boy coming yeah. downhill now. Yeah. Yep, and here we go again. Take those legs away. Uh. A.J. Dillon, touchdown, and we have a tied game at 10. Yeah, like that duo, double team block on those tackles. And the big guy was just yeah. falling forward. So the difference is the Raiders get three off of their turnover and the Packers get seven. That's not what you want to do off of their turnover. But here we go with the Packers, Jordan Love, 77 yards, uh, definitely. Go get it, it Tufo. too late in the season to have bust on coverage like this. Now, if I'm a corner here, I cannot bite on a route that's five yards. Mm -hmm. I got to stay deep, okay? Well, he sacrificed the horse collar penalty to well, save the touchdown, yeah. which is a smart play at what, that point. Which when is you're a beaten. smart move because you know you just can't allow him to get in the end zone. Give your team a chance to line up again and fight it out. And you know what? They settle for a field goal. The Packers take a 13-10 lead. Raiders next possession. It's first and 10 from the Las Vegas 25. Josh Jacobs really oh, starts to oh, catch fire here. That's that planter's go. peanut right yeah. there. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Those are the explosive yards. runs we need to see more of right here. Josh, watch the move though. Uh, I'm a jump cut. Yeah. Uh, I got you. He got you. <laughs> Ooh, downhill. Uh, Josh about to run away from him too. Beginning of something good for him. Five plays later, it's second and seven at the Green Bay 37. Uh, Jimmy uh, Garoppolo to uh -oh. Devante. Welcome. Yeah, and this should be a, this should be a penalty too because you got the best receiver in the world. <laughs> and you got a defense alignment on. That was just his second. Uh, give me just that. his second. That's his third there, reception Tate. of the game, and we're in the third quarter. He Man. almost gets in the end zone. And it's crazy. Good Does things it. happen when you Three spin plays it over later, there. Josh Jacobs punches it in. Yeah, two Pro Bowlers got that drive going. Yep. yep. Star players. We said, right there. give the ball oh, good, to your good playmakers. Right Let them yeah, shoot that's a good their lead shot. Right there. That's old so, school football. So 17 13. Packers next possession. Jordan Love is him. sacked by Max Crosby. Loss of seven yards. Uh, kick the door. Kick, kick it, it down. Over. Kick it over. Yeah. I'm, yep, I'm coming in here. I don't care what you say. 98 showed out on Monday Night Football. Yes, he did. He had uh, four yeah. tackles Dang, for loss tried, in one sack. They tried to block him with five people. Not enough. Next play, second and 17. Jordan Love's pass intended for Christian oh, Watson. Look at that break up. Look at that pass break Intercepted by Robert Spillane's second look at interception that of the game. That's a really good oh. job right here by Marcus Peters. You know yeah, he ain't getting sit, out of there. Sit, he trusts sit, his sit, face, sit, sit on the route. Hands oh. in the pocket. Go get it. Great job. Good job. Tips and overthrows. That's equal. right. Well, got to get them all. Gotta what a game em. for Robert Spillane to be in the right place got at the two. right time. They two. come in bunches. And Merrick I'm said two. They come in bunches. It's contagious. Fast forward under five minutes left in the fourth. Jimmy Garoppolo to Josh Jacobs, 11 yards. New set of downs. You know who's in that passing game. Number Three eight. plays later, third and six. Let's give Amir draw. Abdullah a little action. Yeah. Four yards. He had a little spark Sets to up him. fourth and one. He had a little spark to him today. I would love to see us get Raiders right attempt a hard count before the two minute warning. Want to see if they jump off sides. Yeah, John Elliott was the greatest at that. Man, he'd make you jump even though yeah. we had in the huddle. No, don't but, jump. But what do you do here? Do you go for it on fourth and two or do you kick the field goal? Josh McDaniels went for the field goal and it didn't work. I yeah. don't mind that right there, trying to kick a field goal. Because Carlson is just so put, good. Your defense got three takeaways. Put them out there up seven, you know, see what they can up do. Up seven, they got to score a touchdown to, yeah. to Trust in tie the game, but. Trust All right, Packers, here we go with one last shot. Jordan Love looking deep for Christian Watson and Two intercepted ones. by Big Robinson. Two ones in the house. <laughs> Take another Big look. look. What, you, what, 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 you, what, you, what you talking about? Yeah, sit, sit, sit. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on now. Hey, hey. Get out Caught of there back now. Up. He was beat yeah. a little bit. He was beat a little bit. Yeah. Was that? That's about a 40 inch vertical. Yeah. That's about a 40 inch vertical right there. He's floating. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk to him coming yeah. up in just a bit about that game winning play. Number How nine, you got to jump though, number nine. You think the ball going to go through his body? There you go. So, kneel down and the Raiders get the win 17 to 13 over the Packers at home on Monday Night Football. Final stats taking a look.
What are the two stats, fellas, Amber, that we have been talking about? Where's your stats at, Amber? Time of possession. GOP. When you win the time of possession and battle. JJ with the turnovers. And when you win the turnover battle, 99% of the time. I love that red zone, too. It's that not red zone defense looks and good. offense. That red zone defense, we got to give credit yes. to the Raiders defense. Um, they really stepped up big. But final thoughts uh, on, on what we just saw right uh -huh. there. The defense was criticized heavily from this team, but if you look at the yeah. last six quarters, especially from the last half of the Chargers game through this game, we have seen tremendous growth. Big plays from the defense yeah. and handing the ball back over to the offense mm -hmm. so that they dominate the time of possession. But football, yeah. football isn't that hard. It's, no. it's really not. No. And the, the couple things I was interested in seeing coming into the ball game was how many guys were going to take to get after Jordan Love? I didn't want to use five or six guys because the back end was banged up, didn't have Hobbs, didn't have Bennett. So I wanted to see if the four guys can kind of get after the quarterback. They were able to do that pretty successfully. The turnover battle was awesome and great. But more importantly, Huge. we have to finish today. Mm -hmm. Finish when you get to the red zone. Yep. Two out of three, great. Finish when you get opportunities for interceptions. No not dropping, not going through your hands. No we got that done today. So we finished today, and that was a big reason why we won the football game. And this team got to build off that because that that's how they're going to win football games, the defense, right? And we want the offense to score 35 points a game. We, we want Devontae to get 15 targets a game and all that. But if they don't play defense and they don't get off the field on third down and they don't find a way to get takeaways, it's going to be tough for them to stack these wins together. Six quarters you talked about. They got to continue to do that. You got a New England team that you're about to play. Yeah. Be pure dominance on, that, on the defensive side of the ball, too. But if we continue to play like this on the defensive side of the ball, me being an offensive player, I know that's how you win. Yeah. All right, coming up next on Raiders game day, it is the man that got the game-winning interception, Amik Robertson, standing by all smiles. Mm. He joins the show next. Raiders game day is brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights, book now only at Allegiant.com. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation. Made to chill. 2023 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. And so the Raiders win this one at home over the Packers 17 to 14 and the man that put the nail in the coffin. Amik, Robertson, Amik, welcome into the show. I feel like it's so good to see you <laughs> under these circumstances. What is the emotion right now? Uh, I miss a good feeling, man. You know, uh, being able to help my team win. You know, that's what that's each and every time I go out there, that's what, that's, what, that's what I always try to do. You know, help my team win and put myself in a position to make plays. I know that's, who, that's what kind of play I can't be. So, uh, you know, I'm just grateful that we was able to come out with the win, man. We just got to keep on stacking those wins. First off, brother, uh, let me see a smile, bro. We got a W. It's hard to win in this league. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's hard to win in this league, man. But, hey, serious, man. hey, for the defense, yeah. man, three takeaways. You know, I know that's been a big emphasis, yeah. man. Take the football away. That's what you guys did tonight. Did anything change in practice, or was it just a mindset thing? Uh, we had a couple things that, that we changed in practice. I can't really speak on. Of course, <laughs> Uh, you know, PG harped on, we got to get the ball, man. And, you know, like I said, I ain't trying to single myself out, but I know I can't be that, that kind of ball hawk. You know, that's what, that's what he tell me. You know, when I'm out there, trust my eyes and get after the ball. And that's what I feel like we did tonight as a uh, defense. Mink, I love your energy. Uh, today did an outstanding yeah. job tackling also, which we had an issue with last week, and stepped into the starting role, which is outstanding. You can play inside, outside. Talk to us a little bit about going forward, what it's going to be about. Uh, just staying consistent, man. You know, that's that's what I harp on. I know how this league is. You know, you could be up. You know, everybody loves you. The moment you, you know, everybody disappears. So uh, my main focus right now, man, is to keep going, be who I say I am, man, and continue helping the team uh, be successful. Wait a minute. I'm not moving on just yet. You just had your GM come up behind you, pat you on the back. <laughs> Dave, Dave Ziegler, let's live in this moment. Take me through the play. What did you see from Jordan Love? Take me through it. Uh, I mean, I knew they needed a touchdown. You know, I just trust my eyes, man. And, but it's crazy the moment I walked onto the field. Uh, 
I told myself, you know, I wanted to be the reason. And I knew I could be the reason. I knew I was going to be the guy they test. You know, being a smaller guy out there, I like it, you know, because it gives me more opportunity. And that's what I got tonight. And I made sure that, you know, I was able to take advantage of it. You got another ball hawk on your team that's been doing it for a long, 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 long time and Marcus Peters. Um, just tell us a little yep. bit what he what, what he's meant to that cornerback room. You know, I know in practice, you know, it's a lot of little nuggets he's giving you guys as well. Just kind of explain what he's meant to that room. Uh, he's, he's, I call him the vet, man. You know, uh, he just taught me a lot of X's and O's. Uh, he's a guy that taught, taught me to be poised. You know, I had, last year I kind of had a struggle of, you know, if I give up a play, I kind of had that mindset of not really, you know, kind of harping on that. And he gave me that mindset of, man, playing corner is going to happen. You got to flip that switch and, you know, re reset and focus on the next play. And, you know, so having a guy in your room like that, you know, it's always a blessing. And I, you know, try to make sure I try to pick his head each and, you know, every day at practice. I mean, you've been here in playoff times. You've been here in, in difficult times. How yeah. is this going to change the locker room? Uh, just give us a little momentum, trust, you know, uh, uh, and, and just give us the confidence to keep on pushing. You know, at the end of the day, we try to go 1-0 every week. You know, uh, we, we started out 1-0 at, you know, the, the uh, middle half of the season. At the end of the day, we always had that first quarter of the season. Then that, I mean, that first half of the season, that second half of the season, you know, we just trying to, you know, be successful in that second half of the season, man, and go on this run. We just got to keep pushing, doing the little things right, and can't, playing complimentary football. Amika, I can't let you go before I let you give your flowers to Robert Spillane, who had the two interceptions, and Max Crosby, yeah. four tackles for loss, couple sacks. Mm. What about your teammates? Max Crosby is Max Crosby. <laughs> you know, he's, a, he's a phenomenal football player. You know, uh, Spillane, you know, once we got him, I knew what we had in him. You know, so those are all great guys that you that you have a blessing to be around. You know, you know they come come with, I mean, with energy at practice each and every day, especially Max. You know, so uh, I, I kind of expect that out of, you know, out of those guys because they do the same thing at practice, you know. So guys like me and, uh, you know, the rest of the guys on the defense just feeds off of that energy. You know, we just got to keep going. Well, Amika, I hope you guys feed off of this win. Congratulations, and uh, we look forward to seeing you yeah. against the Patriots next week. Thank y'all. And it really was a group effort by the defense, holding a team like the Packers that was average. They were averaging 25 points a game to 13 points tonight. And it was the red zone defense that stepped up. It was uh, other guys like the veterans were big, as in Max Crosby and Robert Spillane. But uh, I guess if there's only one area they could really improve on, it would be the run defense. We'd like yeah. to see them stop A.J. Yeah. Dillon a little bit earlier. Yeah, and when you're talking about run defense, again, it's, it's that attitude. And a lot of it now is we don't really tackle and practice anymore like we used to. So it's difficult to try and simulate that game type speed in practice. So a lot of the guys are going to have to find ways after practice, before practice, getting better at that. But the rest of the stuff is coming. But the big plays. Oh, man. But the big They're plays. Coming. They're coming. JJ, when you have those game-changing, momentum-changing plays, it really does change the entire tone of the game. Yeah, it's big time. Like, I mean, I don't care about none of them other stuff. I don't care about none of them stats. I don't, I don't care about none of that. All I hear is 13 points and three takeaways. And if we can do that consistently, right, yeah. we're going to win a lot of football yes. games because yeah. I promise you our offense is going to score more than 13 points. Yeah. And if we can do that, and I know we want to stop the run. I know we want a lot of stuff to be perfect. But, I mean, to hold this team or any team in the National Football League to 13 points, that's big-time defense, and that's winning football, man. If we can, we, if we can do that consistently, we're going to be all right. And the there confidence. was a build-up. They were coming so close yes, and missing yes. some of the big plays, dropping some interceptions, and now they have the confidence, as you and said. And you see the rally around. When you get the pass breakup, guys yeah. are running to the ball. They're expecting opportunities, and that's one thing that, you know, I mean, you, you have to live by. you got to live by the ability to be able to make big plays and nothing bigger than this for a cornerback to be able to seal the game with the INT. And man, I'm telling you, confidence is contagious, man. So for this defense to pop this tape on tomorrow, Tuesday, whenever they, whenever they do it, they are going to say, this is what we can be. We could take this football away. And it's on tape. That's right. You guys talked tape. about consistency. There has been consistency. Look at the last six quarters for the Raiders. In the first half against the Chargers, that was the game before this one, they allowed 24 points in the first half. Mm. The last six quarters of football, that not just this game, Two other quarters, right. just 13 points because they shut them out in the second and remember, half. But look at that number at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's big time. Four takeaways. And, and let's remember that first half of the Chargers, there were a lot of turnovers on our part. Yeah. Gave them short, short fields, fields, right? Yeah. So they didn't really have to earn yeah. that. 
it's difficult it's when you have true. to start off, no you know, doubt. a 20 your own and drive the ball down the field. So Patrick Graham is working his magic for I our football team you, defensively. We see you. Yeah, as Amit said, they're you making some the tweaks corner. out there. Yeah. And he wouldn't tell and us they what work. they were. Right. But they tell us. Whatever it is, <laughs> we see you, us. brother. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and look, you have to be fair. Patrick Graham's taken a lot of heat, taking yes. a lot of criticism yes. in the national and local yes. media. And so you have to give him credit when he makes the adjustments and it comes out with a victory and his defense only giving up 13 points. When we come back, how do we get this run game going a little bit better? JJ there and EA, <laughs> they've got an idea. Yeah, that's next. My name is Caden Chittenden. I go to Faith Lutheran Middle and High School and I play kicker. I just achieved the rank of Eagle Scout uh, through the Boy Scouts of America. Well, I did a lot of community service while I was in scouting and the Eagle Project itself took probably around 70 hours to complete of community service. I think it's important to give back to the community because Everybody wants to live in a nice community, but you have to put effort into keeping it nice because not everyone in the community is doing the right thing. It makes me feel happy, but it's also important to stay humble, not brag about doing community work because that's not really the point. It's to help other people and not yourself. It's very enlightening, very happy, very life-changing to know that you uh, make an impact in other people's lives. Thank you, Intermountain Health and the Raiders for this great opportunity. Go Raiders. Game day. So the Raiders get the win over the Packers 17 to 13, thanks in part to a Josh Jacobs rushing touchdown. Josh has shown us glimpses of greatness, but he's yet to be quite consistent. Uh, in fact, the Raiders haven't had a 100 yard rushing game as a team yet this season. And Maybe a way to get them started. JJ, EA, you guys have a couple ideas? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. We're yes, playing. yes, yes, we do, Amber. Silver and Black has to get this running game going. Yeah. One of the ways we saw today, creative, yeah. right? Give me some movement. I love it. Let the defense have to adjust yeah. on the fly. That's really yeah. important for this football team to be able to get this running game going because that's our identity. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off here. Hunter Renfro is going to give some movement. Look at those linebackers shifting, mm -hmm. right? And now it just gives you a little crease to be able to get it through there and kind of get Josh going. But that's five yards. That's five yeah, yards. Yeah, exactly. What's yeah. so important is to get that movement again. Fourth and one right yeah. now. So the move we've showed these guys, they have to find a way to adjust. We've got some speed, mm -hmm. movement. Hey, a handoff, you get a first down and kind of keep things going, JJ. No and not only that, when you talk about movement, you see this fly sweep right here. Now we got this on tape. Yeah. So now teams are going to see this fly sweep. And you know what? You fake that fly sweep, and now you're able to get in your pass game. But for run game-wise, how can I get my runners in space? That's right. And Josh did a really good job of moving guys and getting his runners in space, getting the ball in their hands fast to make plays. This is another really this, good one. We set this up for you, yeah. JJ. We got movement again. Look at this. Almost an extended handoff. Yep. to our guy Devontae Adams, but it just shows you no the doubt. creativity yeah. that we need to kind of get these things going. You love the fact that you can use Devontae in all aspects of the game, throwing him deep, yeah. but I love this aspect because he's a great mover after he catches the ball. No this doubt. is the kind of thing the Raiders have to do yeah. to get things involved. And what a lot of people don't understand, Raider Nation, I know you want every single offensive play to be a touchdown, but that's an extension of the run game. If you yes. can get it into your playmaker's hands fast, Tay just picked up five yards that's a good run we in second and five now and now we can get to anything and everything in the playbook so I love the creativeness yeah we got to keep going and then we can make some plays in the passing game off of that run game as well that's right and then we talking about W's Amber <laughs> back to you stacking the W's that's what they're trying to do and the creativity has paid off we have seen the wide receivers got 18 targets today. Look, tight ends got five targets. Running backs got six targets. So distribution all around, spreading the ball around. We have talked about that a lot. So this is a good thing, right? We had nine different people catch a ball today. <laughs> but you know who didn't catch enough balls? That's Just right. in my That's humble right. opinion. Yes. It was Devontae Adams. That's right. He, he had one target in the entire first half against his former team. So second half, he had three targets. He caught everything that was sent his way today. Always. But you want to get the ball to him a little bit more often. And you get it. You want to use him as a decoy because everybody thinks that uh, the ball's going to him, but right. not not all the time. That's right. <laughs> sometimes I wish, the ball I really wish we had a flag because I would throw a penalty <laughs> on that. You know? yeah. and, and sometimes Devontae, so great, you know, yeah. he's not going to – 
uh, complain about it because we got the W, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to find a way. You're going against your old team. You want to show out. I've yeah. been in that situation before. You want someone to throw the ball to you no so doubt. you can get an interception and show everybody yeah. that you're still the guy. Devontae, outstanding leader, but you got to find a way to get him the ball a little bit more in a game when he's facing his old yeah, team. Yeah, and we're talking about the best receiver in football. So you know. Yeah. People are going to try to game plan to take Devontae Adams away. Josh McDaniels, you know that. And I'm all good with Jacoby Myers and those yes. other boys eating. I'm all good with that because that's only going to help Devontae in the long run. But we have to do a better job of creating for Devontae Adams. I don't care if you put him in the slot. I don't care if you motion him to the slot. I don't care if you put him in bunch formations. So these teams cannot double him and you find ways to get the football into his hands. That is not enough. We got the W. <laughs> but that is not yeah. enough because we got the W because them three targets that he had came down there on one drive and put us right. down there. So exactly. if we want to be successful on the offensive side of the ball, you got to find one seven. He All was right, the closer well, today. <laughs> Jimmy G was back. It was good to see him out there healthy. Coming up next, we're going to hear from the Raiders winning quarterback right here on Raiders game day. Keep it right here. This segment of Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Just how badly uh, this team needed this win, uh, what can this do moving forward for this club? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> it was a total team effort tonight, and, um, and then we knew it was going to be like that. Uh, it's just one of those things we got to use this momentum now to our advantage, you know, try to get stacking these wins. Uh, but, yeah, this was a big one tonight. You know, Green Bay coming in, fans traveled well. So, you know, it was a, it was a good environment out there. And uh, health-wise reaction, how, how did you feel out there? Uh, any repercussions from, uh, from the, the concussion? No, no, feeling, feeling good, uh, especially after a W, man. It always makes the body feel better. Any worries on a short week coming up uh, just to get ready for the next one, or is it? Uh, are we just uh, in, the, in the game mode now? Uh, I mean, it'll be different. You know, get tomorrow, lick our wounds, uh, get everyone back healthy, watch the film, and kind of just uh, get things moving. These short weeks happen quick, so we got to uh, move on to New England pretty, pretty quickly here tomorrow. What was it on the one interception that you, you saw? Did you not see the defender there on the one interception? Uh, you know, he just undercut Cobes. Uh, you know, I left the ball a little behind him. Should have never done it. You know, just uh, got to be smart with it. But I thought overall tonight, you know, guys did a good job of taking care of the ball. Uh, I just got to eliminate that one. And uh, New England coming up, I know, you know, you just finished this one. But <coughs> always uh, going up against a, your, one of your old teams is uh, always interesting. Just your thoughts on the Patriots. Yeah, I uh, haven't watched them much. But, um, yeah, it's, it'll, it'll always be a good test with those guys. You know, they're a good team. Coach very well. Uh, we know that, so you know we'll be ready for him. Though it'll be a, it'll be a good atmosphere here next Sunday. So with the win, the Raiders beat the Packers for the first time. This is our one big number, uh, by the way, and it's wow. a big one for the first time in 36, 36 years. 36 wow. years. Now, granted, they don't play very often, uh, but the Green Bay Packers were eight and zero. Oh. Uh. On that run, Amber, you're looking at me like I had something to do with now that. Now there, right? James we, we, was involved we, in one of those. <laughs> I do know. By the way, I'm 1987, the last time that the Raiders won a game, that was 10 years before Max Crosby was born in 1997. Gosh, <laughs> all you people that feel old out there like me right now. Yes, 1997 is when, wow. and speaking of Max Crosby, we have to give him his own little highlight reel. Yes. Because the man is a human wrecking ball. Oh, and goodness. consistently, every single game, he gets to the quarterback. Man, I'm telling you, and, and he's so fun to watch. Like, if any little kids, any high school kids, any college kids, watch Max Crosby play the game of football. I don't care if he's not making the play. He is fun to watch. The effort does not stop ever until the whistle is blown, and sometimes it don't stop when the whistle is blown. Yeah. Mad Max is going 110 miles per hour every single time. I could watch him play all day, every day. That's big time, Mad Max. And I like that Coach Graham is lining him up left, right, uh -huh. over center, on, all over the place. Yes. So you know teams are, hey, uh -huh. where's this dude at? Where's 98 at? Yeah. And now he's lining up at left, 
in. He's lined up over the center. That really helps this football team defensively when you don't know where the best, one of the best players in the National Football League is lining up and which tackle he's going to take and just dominate. What's amazing, though, is that he gets double teamed and he gets through them <laughs> and he still gets four tackles for loss, yeah. a sack. It really, it's like we've all coached young kids yeah. in different sports. You teach them to play like your hair's on fire every single play, but that kind of heart you're just born with. Yeah. And it's great for a young player like Tyree Wilson to have him in the same room, and hopefully he'll coach him up yeah. and get him to the same level one day, because imagine that. Oh, man. Two edge rushers and he, and he like needs, right. He needs to be in the conversation early in this season for defensive player of the year. He sure does. He's just a game wrecker, yeah. you know, and I know a lot of people want to go straight to the sacks, but he, he's a game wrecker. He does so much for this team and his defense. Yeah. You brought up a great point that, you know, it is good that the Raiders have a few primetime games, but you feel like you want them to have even more because yes. you want the world to see yeah. – how Max Crosby plays because he does belong in the discussion of defensive player of the year with guys like Nick Bosa, like T.J. Oh, Watt, wow. but maybe it's because you don't see him as much. So, if, hey, America, you saw that on prime yes, time. You saw what was up. And look, I love that he engages with the fans. Oh, we're going to take a break. Maybe we'll show you that Max Crosby tweet a little bit later. Um, when we come back, we're going to go out to the locker room, see what the guys are saying about the big win. Josh McDaniels with the victory speech. They are now two and three on the season. This segment of Raiders Game Day has been brought to you by America First Credit Union, the official credit union of the Las Vegas Raiders. Listen, when you fight like that, and when you play and you scrap and you claw, all right, for everything that you got, all right, good things happen to you. Okay, and we've had some ones happen so far that we can't do anything about, but what we can do is move forward off of a victory. Yes, sir. Okay? And that's what we're going to do, all right? That's what we're going to do, all right? Again, this wasn't perfect. You know it and I know it, all right? But, fellas, all we got to do is be one point better than them, okay? Yes, sir. All right? Really proud of the effort, really proud of the preparation, fellas, and really proud of the fight tonight. Good job. Big dub. So keep working, baby. Love you guys. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three, one, two, three, gang! All right, Max Crosby rounding out yes. the victory speech in the locker room as the Raiders win at 17-13. They're now 2-3. and three. Up next, they face the Patriots. We uh. told you that Max Ooh. Crosby, after the win, was already tweeting. W. Well, it's, it's Xing now. <laughs> I know it's, it's on X. It's not Twitter anymore. Stop he playing. said, stop playing. <laughs> Raider Nation, I love y'all. Yeah. More decipher. I don't know all that. Yeah. Is this is what the oh. kids do, Diamond. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, he's oh, happy. He's big He's ball, happy. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's happy. He's big ball, and he had a big game. And, uh, you we know, don't need the to defense. follow that mode. You know, I, I mean, just his energy uh, and the way he plays the game yeah. is, is the way that I speak with Raiders all the time, older guys. They love Max. Yeah. They want everyone to play the football like Max. And then on the offensive side of the ball is Devontae and Josh. They yeah. all want to kind of have that spirit. In, and that's uh, – it's so important to have that as a Raider because I think yeah. it's, it's unique and it's special to have a player like that who represents us. And well, we should feel real on. good right now, too. <laughs> we should feel real yeah. good. We all should be smiling. Because <laughs> well, we got the Patriots <laughs> next. <laughs> we, yeah, that's good. Hey, welcome. It is still the end of – I don't mean to be Debbie Downer. It's still oh, the NFL. Oh, oh. It is still the NFL. They you can't overlook. I don't what know if they part of the NFL. Last right? two weeks. It was the last two weeks. I see that right there. Ooh, <laughs> It's still oh. Bill Belichick, but hey, uh, it man. is at home at Allegiant Stadium. So yeah. that's good news Amen. for the Raiders coming up next. But we're still <laughs> focusing on this win tonight. Let's go back out to the locker room or in the podium where uh, Josh McDaniels is speaking, brought to you by Yamava. Well, uh, good to come in here after win. Um, you know, it's a good football team over there that's well coached. They got a lot of good players and really give our guys a lot of credit for um, hanging in there and just grinding it out. It was kind of that kind of game, you know, the whole entire four quarters was nothing was easy, um, you know, and I thought that, uh, you know, our punter punted really well tonight and, and changed field position some that kind of eventually made a difference. Obviously the three takeaways on defense, um, you know, we were hoping we would get a couple and they come in waves. So uh, those always make uh, life a little easier. So um, plenty to work off of, but very proud of our group and um, happy to be two and three. Josh, I want to take you to the uh, goal line stand after the long pass and the penalty. I think they're at the three yard line. Yep. 
kind of the key to the game right there that you guys held him to a field goal. Yeah. Touchdown. Yeah, and talk to Marcus. It's the right penalty. You know, um, you know that that's a really smart play in a critical time in the game. And you know, if it's the first quarter in the middle of the field, you don't want a horse collar. You know, but if you're saving a touchdown on a long play like that, you at least give yourself a chance to play a few more downs, which he did. Um, and then the defense really rose up and, and played well. I thought they played well all night for the most part. That and then the, the interception by Amit to, to end the game. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, Amik just finds the, the ball, finds Amik, or Amik finds the ball, one or the other. Um, you know, but he's such a tough, scrappy guy. Uh, played, you know, he plays multiple positions for us every single week. Um, ready to go at star inside, corner outside, plays in all the kicking units, plays gunner. Um, you know, and just, you know, he's in the right situation. He's in the right position at the right time. Uh, and then he makes a great play, you know, and, and uh, ends the game for us. So um, just really, really happy for Amik. <clears throat> so as Coach McDaniel said, the ability to make big plays when it counted the most led to the W, and the hope is that those turnovers can be contagious coming up against the Patriots. But one big play was Josh Jacobs getting in the end zone. We're talking to Josh coming up next as he's standing by at Allegiant Stadium. And look at that. He's got the Deion Sanders shades. <laughs> got that winning look. Next. <laughs> look good. Play good. To be a Raider is to be bold, powerful, and loyal. What's a Raider? Always a Raider. Raider Nation family is authentic. With the heart here in Las Vegas, we are often imitated, but can never be duplicated. Why? The Autumn Wing is a winner. Because there's only one nation. Keep up with the 2023 season by downloading the mobile Raiders app or visiting Raiders.com slash connect for scores, where to watch, and what's happening next. Raiders game day has been brought to you by Twitch. Watch, discover, join in. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Las Vegas Raiders. Modelo, a reward for those with a fighting spirit. The mark of a fighter, drink responsibly. The Raiders improved to two and three with a win at home over the Packers. And to talk about it, a man who got the game-winning touchdown in the end zone, Josh Jacobs, joins us now. Ooh, he's got that cold, <laughs> that game-winning uh, cold outfit on, man. Is. You look clean. Good to see you smiling. Come Just on, describe the win. It. Man, you know, uh, it was a fun one, man. You know, it was, it was definitely a dog fight. Uh, you know, to see the defense to be able to step up the way they did with three turnovers, man, and, uh, you know, us trying to go out there and grind and, you know, secure the win, uh, it's, it's definitely been huge, man. It was a fun game. We see a little bit more every single week of you just right there about to have some of them explosive runs. You had one or two of them today, but you was that Yo. close to having about five or six of them. You starting to feel like yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man, definitely, man. I feel like I had a little bit more lanes to run through uh, today. Uh, you know, I feel like the guys strained hard in, uh, in the run game. And, you know, we put an emphasis all week about, you know, getting it going. So hopefully this is just, uh, you know, the start of, of, a, of, a long, of a long year. But, man, it's, it's, it was a good game. Yeah, talk to us about being a complete running back, catching the ball at the backfield, running it, and then blocking. Did an outstanding job today picking up uh, blitzers. Yeah, man, I mean, for me, man, I – I always try to prime my game to have no weaknesses. And, uh, you know, each offseason, I feel like I work on uh, whatever I feel like I, I'm the weakest in. And um, so to come in, man, and be able to display everything that I've been doing, man, this year, um, you know, with not mixing any uh, blitz, protect, uh, blitz protections or anything the whole year and, uh, you know, catching the ball a lot out the backfield, man, it's, it's been a fun year for sure. You were in such a rhythm late in the game. You go 34, you get 34 rushing yards in that touchdown drive, but then you get 24 yards and in the drive where Josh McDaniels decides to kick the field goal is fourth and two, where you're like, I know I can get these two, Josh. If you give me a chance, I know I can get these two. <laughs> Yo. I definitely felt that, you know, I feel like that on every uh, fourth and short. I'd be like, man, look, I'd be looking at him like, what you, what you, what you deciding to do? But, uh, man, you know, we have a uh, complete trust and in, in, in faith in coach, man, and, you know, it played out the right way. Yeah, I'm with you, Josh. I was never covered neither uh, when I played. I'm always open. <laughs> at least that's what I told the quarterback. <laughs> but, man, just talk, talk so. to us about the defense a little bit, man. I mean, I know as our offensive players, we on the sideline. You know, we watching the defense. I mean, three takeaways from them boys. Max Crosby all yeah, over the football field. Just watching them, man. Talk to us a little bit about the D. 
Yeah, man, Max Crosby, man. I mean, first off, man, I mean, if you should see the way that he play, uh, the motor that he has, the effort that he gives on, you know, every given play, man, I mean, it's just what makes him so special. Uh, I feel like, you know, Spill had a crazy day today, two interceptions, flying all around the field, uh, you know, making some key stops. And, man, shout out to Amik, man, for, you know, sealing the deal. I mean, that, I, I see that guy every day, man, come in, put his head down and, and work, man. So nobody, you mean, everybody in the locker room was happy for him that he got the, you know, reap the benefit of that. So it's definitely been dope. Well, Josh, in these difficult times, that's when leadership shows up. And uh, talk to us a little about how that leadership uh, kind of, uh, how, how it happened uh, this week. Yeah, man. I mean, I came to the sideline, you know, talked to the offensive line and just told them, like, man, you know, it don't really matter how we start. It just matter, how, you know, what we do on each given play. And, uh, you know, I talked to them and I'm like, man, keep believing it. It's gonna come, like I, you know, you, as a running back, you, it's, a lot of it is feel, you know, and I, I felt like a lot of them could have popped uh, for more than what we got, but I told them, I'm like, man, just keep doing what y'all doing, man, and let me make y'all right. So it was, it was good complimentary football. Well, Josh, like James says, it does feel like you're so close to popping a big game off. We can't wait to see you next week against the Patriots. Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> Yeah, and so up next, it is the Patriots, and you hope that that running game that we keep seeing at the end of games, we yeah. see him start to pick up in the second oh, half of every game that maybe starts a little bit early in the yeah. first quarter because you know he's about ready to have a 100-yard game. No doubt, and if that run game could get going, we know that's when Jimmy G is at his best. Yes. Man, this offense goes through Josh Jacobs. When that run game is going, Jimmy G at his best, you know who we got to throw to? Devontae <laughs> Adams. Adams. And this offense is going to be all right. The play action starts with the run game in number eight. <laughs> All right, looking forward to it and looking forward to the next four games. As we said, it is the Patriots oh. back home at Allegiant Ooh. Stadium. For a defensive player, oh, when an offense is struggling Ooh. like they are, you don't study the last couple games because it didn't work. So it's always a matter of you got to go back to when they were playing well to study that type study of film. That so that's going to yeah. be something defensively. You talking about the Patriots? I'm for a defensive player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, you're not going to study the last two weeks because they're garbage, yeah, well, right? So was. you got to go back and, like, when's the last time they were a dominant type of offense? That's probably what they're going to try and go back to. Yeah. So for defense, you're going to have to kind of get in your, get in your uh, film study. I feel you, EA. But, <laughs> you know, I just... <laughs> I, I smell stinky, <laughs> poo-poo, caca is what I smell. <laughs> and it should be a W for the Las Vegas <laughs> Raiders. You guys uh, want to well, look up yeah. bulletin board material? I smell it. Look up I smell it. W. Bill Belichick was <laughs> and some... And JJ just gave w. it to him. Hey, uh, by the way, they got the Bears <laughs> after that, Ooh. which is a winnable game. But, hey, it was a great night. Mickey Guyton, she kicked it off. Kill the national anthem. What a beautiful awesome. voice awesome. she had. Had the flyover. And then it was uh -oh. the Las Vegas Knights, the Stanley Cup champion, Golden Knights. So great to see them Valley out there. Champions. This is a championship city. Is a Valley Valley of champions. The Golden Knights. Got to get the Raiders back uh -oh. in there. Hey. But everybody likes seeing Marshawn Lynch. He went beast mode there it is. up there with the Bay Area's there finest. Too short. <laughs> Broke it down there at halftime. Had the Raiderettes as the backup dancers. It is always lit Concert. at Allegiant Stadium. Let's go. I hate that we have to leave. We Blow have to come whistle. back to the studio. <laughs> they were blowing the whistle as right. I was walking That's out the stadium. Mean, huh? I started getting upset because I heard Marshawn <laughs> was going off, and he was. Look at that. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. The Raiders win this one. 17 to 13. Yeah. Great defensive showing. That's Big right. play at the end by Amik Robinson to seal the deal. And now they head back home. Allegiant Stadium. Hope you guys are back yeah. out there. We'll see you there. We'll be right here after Raider the game Nation. for Raiders game day. The Raiders now two and three. They're climbing on up. Come Moving on. Up. We'll see you next time. Moving on up. <laughs>